Mr. President, in this complex world in which we live, the military establishment and weaponry has drained off a tremendous amount of science and technology. Is there hope and is it your purpose to see that as much science and technology as possible can be directed to the civilian sector so that we can increase our production and enter this trade avenue? Well, there's a tremendous uh, drain on our available uh, uh, scientific manpower, space, military. And on the other hand, a good deal of the governmental research uh, uh, is of great assistance to industry. The whole electronics industry has come out really of uh, efforts originally made by the government. What's true there in the field of health? In many other areas, the actions that we are taking uh, help the general economy. One of the other problems that we have is the necessity to modernize our plants. Many of these European plants were rebuilt after World War II. They have fast write-offs, and uh, the United States must make sure that its tax structure stimulates growth. What I want to say in closing is this is a matter that we should be optimistic about. Western Europe went through this whole question of its tariff arrangements, as we now are, a few years ago. And the result has been that in the six countries of the common market today, they are searching for people. In those six countries, there is no unemployment, there's a steady buildup of their gold, there's a steady increase in their industrial power, and we can participate in that effort to our own well-being. We will find uh, hundreds and thousands more jobs out of this effort. And I, uh, therefore, am most uh, grateful for the effort which has been made by the men and women in both of our political parties to try to keep this issue in front of the country as a matter of the highest national priority, as President Eisenhower has said on many occasions.